Hey, good morning. 7.44 in the morning. Kind of a late start to be getting for today. Considering we got two units going and it's, I think, Wednesday. Wednesday. Two units over at Property 7. I'm able to put everybody to work today. Hopefully, I've got everybody today. I should have Donald, Milton, Jason, John. That's four. Oh, shit. And then another new guy. I forgot I got them today as well. Fun times. Fun times. All right. So that's five people, six including myself. I'll stick around for a little bit to help these guys get rocking and rolling. It's not going to be easy. We got two units going over here today. Uh, three bedroom and two bedroom, both color changes. So definitely a lot of work. But... Everybody that I've got is fully capable of getting this shit rocking and rolling. We should have both of these units damn near done today. I'm probably going to have most everybody start on the three bedroom together and then start breaking guys off to go to the two bedroom or something like that. Maybe I'll have two guys on the two bedroom, three guys on the three bedroom. Not sure just yet. Got to figure it all out. But anyways, I got to get back over to property three at some point today. I just realized looking in the back seat of the truck that I've got those signs that I, I went to install. Um, there's a brick structure at the front of the property where uh, that's at the entrance. And they wanted me to put these two plexiglass signs up replacing the old plexiglass signs uh, and they looked like they were just liquid nailed up there. I tried to use some window silicone and that shit didn't work. Exterior window silicone at that. I figured it would have worked but it didn't. So now I'm just going to screw the shit to the brick. Fuck all that. So I'll take care of that today as well. Shout out to everybody. Hope you guys are having a fine day whenever you're seeing this. Probably a couple of days separated. Uh, what is going on? Spending a lot of time with my son. Loving that. I cannot, man, can't even emphasize how much it means to spend time with him. Shout out to my beautiful wife raising our son for the most part when I'm not around. She's holding things down. <clears throat> Got an opportunity to film a video for After Prison Show and share that yesterday. Um, got a bunch of other videos that I want to be able to, oh fuck, I forgot, damn, I took off my wedding ring, I forgot my finger was so swollen last night, shit, <coughs> it was freaking me out, oh boy, oh boy, wife ain't gonna be too happy about that, um, got a lot of videos I want to get filmed, a lot of things I'm trying to get done. Yesterday was a productive day. Hoping that today is going to be just as productive. I've been watching on the news. There's been a shit ton of traffic all around the area. So hopefully I'm able to get where I got to go in a timely manner. Hopefully everybody else is going to meet me over there as well. And let's just see how this is all going to go. Let me get where I'm going. Call my wife. Let her know. Hey, look, don't freak out if you see the wedding ring sitting on the nightstand. Uh, my finger just swollen. All right, let's get this day underway and share more in just a little bit. All right. Whoo. Joe, are you smoking again? I read a comment that said that I, I'm, I'm running up three flights of stairs from all the way around the property. Anyways, hey, over here at Property 7, and here's our first doozy of the day. Carpet is definitely going in this unit. So if we were to get this carpet all painted up, I mean, come on now. It don't take much to see. This carpet, it ain't it, Chief. Need more proof? I mean, mostly it's just dirty. Looks like an animal had been crated in here. What do we got? One, two, three crates maybe? I don't know. I, I believe people who create animals shouldn't have pets, but that's just me, the humanitarian. 
that shore way. This is, I'm sure that's gonna be fun trying to get that off. Yeah, so this unit is a little bit of a mess, but I'm gonna have all hands on deck over here and we are gonna rock and roll. Wow, no light in here really. So you can tell how bad the unit is based upon how dirty the baseboard is. People living atrociously up in these units. I mean, this is how, this is how y'all was doing it. Yeah. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Ready to get it in. That's what's going on. And waiting on the team to get here. So here's our three bedroom that we're going to start with today. And I'm lugging paint right now, waiting on others to get here. I've literally only brought in one five. There's about 10 more of these I got to go get. All right, just getting up into the second unit for today. It's an eviction. Uh, the notice was on the door. It looks like they already served the eviction. And they must have did that uh, on the 13th at 945 a.m. Uh, I don't know if we're going to paint this. Whew. What the world is that? That's like a little vial of something. I don't want no parts of that. Is that an egg? You know how valuable those are right now? That is legit an egg. All right, try this again because my camera just acted stupid. So this is the second unit for today. Um, certainly an eviction. The sign, the notice was on the door. <sighs> That's a little blunt wrap guts right there. Looks like they might have had to kick the door in to get up in here. Who did this baseboard? I mean, who did this casing? Because that is something to be admired right there. Yeah, dog. Oh, shit. All right, so anyways, I don't know if we're going to be painting this because this unit looks like it needs to be trashed out still. <sighs> Look at that. That's an egg right there. You know how valuable those are right this second? Those are, commo those are hot commodities. Damn, is that shattered? <gasps> That's a bullet hole right through the glass. They said that there was a shoe in here. Uh, just recently. Yeah, look. So there's where the bullet came through at. And boom, there's where it went into the wall. Holy shit. That's crazy. Okay. Okay now. So it's getting a little wild over here. All right, let's continue to look at this unit. Um, Beware of the kangaroo. You better beware of more than that. People getting shot up in this unit. More blunt guts. What if this was a dope boy spot? Smoking the black and mild, taking a shit. Yeah. Yeah, this unit's gonna need some work, Jack. Look at the carpet. Oh. Whew. Wonder if there's blood right there. And somebody did get shot. Holy moly. Holy moly. Just dumped the blunt guts right behind the bed. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Hey, just dumped them blood. Hey, don't worry about that drink. Yeah, don't worry about that drink. Reminded me of that story when I was in prison that one time and I dropped that Dr. Pepper twice. Yeah, that really happened. <sighs> Holy moly. Holy moly. All right. Well. Uh, not sure what's going on, but this one and if we're going to be painting it, going to have to try to find that out right now. All right, good deal up here in the second unit, and we are going to paint this. So just going to work around the mess that's in here and get it squared away. Um, you're going to see stuff like this for sure doing this. Damn. Whew. I don't even want to touch anything in here. This is probably a fucking crime scene, to be honest. But, um, yeah. All right. So, start getting this unit prepped. And, uh, obviously, the carpet is going in here. I didn't even have to ask. I was concerned about, hey, do you want us to paint this or, uh, or not? So, yeah, man. That is legitimately a freaking big-ass bullet hole right there you can see clear outside look at that shit and that joint came straight across and hit right there looks like it could have hit right there too 
Damn. And ain't no telling, you know, if this person was a target or if this person, or if this was just some random ass shit. I wonder if he even knows. He's got to know. He's got to know, right? They, they do know, right? All right, hey man, 7.10 in the evening and the day is done and boy, what's one today? A whole lot is actually. We did a three and a two and we almost got it all the way done. Almost, almost. Just a bare minimum amount of shit that we got, uh, that uh, Milton's coming back for in the morning time to knock out. So, hey, I am super happy with the way that today went. I had four guys plus myself, that was five guys on two units, two big ass color change units at that, and we got it done. All of my guys made 200 bucks for today, and the business made good money. The business made really good money for today. So, happy. I worked my ass off to get it though. Damn sure it did. No time for no, no videos, can't edit. Just gonna go home. Take a shower, hold my son, eat some dinner, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, do it all over again. I'm exhausted, but we got through it. My new guy, John, did pretty good. Really good, actually. He painted what? Painted uh, five wet areas. Got a little bit faster by the end of the day, too, so happy about that. All right, that's it. Wrapping it up. Hey, thanks for taking the time. What a crazy day. Bullet holes and units and shit. But we survived it and damn near got all the work done that we had for today and got a good amount of work for tomorrow as well. So, hell yeah, let's go home. All right. All right, hey, good morning. Thursday morning as I begin this and trying, trying, trying to get the show on the road this morning. So, supposedly three units going today at three different locations, and do I have enough sprayers that actually work uh, to get <laughs> three units done today? I'm trying to remember what's going on with my sprayers. So I've got one sprayer in the back of the truck that we've been using pretty consistently. I've got another sprayer that's got this blue thing that uh, we didn't have the right spray tip for, so I had to get this whole new contraption, or this is how I found it. Um, hopefully this is gonna fit that sprayer, hopefully. Another sprayer where it's all clogged out because somebody who's no longer with us doesn't know how to clean out a fucking machine. But, you know, if it's not yours or it's not yours, you don't care about it. So I need a new gun for that machine. A gun is like 300 fucking dollars. Might as well just buy a fucking other machine if I'm going to spend all that money. And I think my other machine, that'll be the fourth machine, maybe it just needs a spray tip. Hopefully, that's the case. Regardless, I need three sprayers that are actually working today. I need three sprayers. So that's the start of today, the, the theory for today. I got a, a rack of shit in the back of the truck. I kind of need to organize that a little bit because I got to pick up a bunch of shit. First thing I'm doing, going to the storage unit to grab these machines, grab all sorts of other shit that we're going to need. And then I'm going to property two. Go to property two first. Make sure that unit's ready to go. Go to property three and property 10. Those are the units that we've got going. I've got to get the vanity proposal put together for property five. I need to get over to property five and just measure one more time this open area for this vanity space because it's roughly 35 inches. You can't fit a 35 inch vanity in this space. It's gonna to be too tight for that. 
and the 33 inch vanity that we saw at Home Emporium with the Formica top and building all of that, that's gonna be way too much of a fucking clusterfuck doing that and too much extra shit. Then we're gonna have to get a bowl, a, a, a sink, you know, to put in there after we make the cut. Fuck all that. They, The reality is to find this unfinished vanity that's similar to what they have there, the only size that I'm finding is a 30 inch which means that we're roughly gonna have a five inch gap that we're gonna have to fucking deal with. So what I plan to do is build a fucking shelf. Just build a filler shelf. Something small, we're not even gonna sheetrock it, we're gonna build it all out of wood. Then we're gonna paint it the same color as the walls and that's gonna be the easiest solution to this. Use the 30 inch versus the 33 inch because the 30 inch comes with everything that we fucking need and just build that little wooden fucking shelf as a filler. It'll be much easier to go that route and also cheaper to go that route. So I said that labor on that was probably going to be about $400. Well, now it's going to be $550. The vanity is $200. So $750 is going to be the price of this. Uh, and that's the best that you get. Not to mention, I'm going to have to hook up plumbing. But whatever. That's not that big of a deal. So, $750 to do a vanity. We'll see. It might be, probably be too high for them, but hey, that's the best that I can do. And I ain't going to do it for nothing less because it is going to be a fair amount of work. Got to rip out the old vanity, take apart all the old plumbing. Put the new vanity in, cut out for the clean out, build the little shelf, which ain't gonna take shit. So I need to get that proposal over to them at some point today. They really are kind of down on me about doing that, which I wanna do the work. It's not that I don't wanna do the work, but man, it's a lot trying to do all of this shit as one man. So try to get all these units put together, make sure everybody's got the work, make sure the work is ready to go, make sure the work is getting done, do the work myself as well. Do the proposals, go talk and show face to these properties and tell them, hey, we can do anything that you need, whatever you need, we got it. Not to mention film videos for this channel and also after prison show, which I would get an opportunity to do again this morning. Six o'clock in the morning, filming a fucking video. Will I get a chance to edit it this evening? Ain't no telling. And also, most important to all of these things, fuck any of these things, most important, be a father to my son. So I really ain't got time for shit. And I'm not complaining about it at all. I'm blessed to be able to have so much on my plate and have so many great things in my life, especially my son. All right, well, anyways, just wanted to share those things with you guys. Yesterday was a really good day. Hopefully today is gonna be a really good day and let's go make it happen. First thing we gotta do is go to the storage unit and see about sprayers. Do we have spray machines that actually work? Do I need to go buy a spray machine? Hopefully I don't. Knock, knock. All right, here's the first unit going over here, property two. Putting Milton on this one right here, and it's just a two. It's a two-two. Two-two. Nice little two-two. Couple holes in the wall. Got your water heater sitting right in the closet and shit, because it don't fit in the freaking uh, joint. Don't got no pan. Ah. But they got the outlet plate covers off. That's cool. They prepped this unit. They are ready to get this painted app. So fucking lootly. Let me go ahead and drop off the stuff for here. Let Milton know this unit is ready to go. And make sure there are no hidden surprises. My God, that's annoying. Nice shower, though. Real nice. Real nice. Everything looking pretty good. Everything looking pretty good. How did that other bathroom look? Perfect, Milton's texting me right now talking about on his way. Hell yeah, buddy. And your unit is 
ready to go. Let's get this one unloaded, load it in, and let them know it's ready for you, dog. All right, good news and bad news. Just getting over to property three. And good news is the unit's open and ready to go. Bad news is we don't got paint for this. We definitely don't have any of this color, so we're gonna have to get this color. And that's gonna hold me up in a major way. Um, yeah, that's gonna definitely hold me up. So I'm gonna put Jason in this unit. Millen's doing the other unit. Hey Joe, how's it going? Not so well, I'll share more now. Yeah. So Milton would call me and tell me, hey, I'm leaving from you know, property seven, put the paint away, units are pristine. We busted ass over there. We did so fucking good on that three bedroom and that two bedroom and got them both done by 8.30 this morning. So man, I was so proud of the work that we did and Milton tells me, he's like, hey man, I don't wanna alarm you. But when I was leaving, there was another painter going to pick up paint to go do color changes over there. These dick-eating motherfuckers over here at Property 7, the cause of the whole issue is with my wife's job, and they haven't dropped us, and I know that they want to drop us, and they just haven't done so because they can't find nobody to replace us. Well, maybe this new person is going to be just that. I swear when I invoice... I'm gonna price everything a la carte and accordingly. And I'm not doing so out of spite. I'm just doing so because why would I do you any favors at all? You certainly seem to be trying to get rid of us. What in the world is that? What is that? Is that a cotton ball? Is that a spider nest? I don't know. I don't know. Where's the drywall repair at? Huh? Where's it at? I know you did one in here. Matter of fact, yeah, where is that drywall repair? I remember seeing my drywall competition uh, here in front of this building the other day. So I'm guessing this is the unit you did the repair in. And I would like to see that. There I go, talking all emotionally charged. It shouldn't even matter, to be honest. You know, hey, in this line of work, it is dog eat dog at AF. And there will always be somebody cheaper, maybe even better, you know. And and that, it just pisses me off because at that particular property, we've not had any issues. The callbacks have been minor. I don't see the drywall repair. Yeah, I can't find it. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna drop off some things here and then I gotta get paint for this guy. So that'll be fun. All right, over here at property 11, this is a one bedroom color change. And of course their one bedroom has this little jail cell basically. It's like a fucking drunk tank. This, I don't even know what you would call this. This ain't no dining room. Oh, it's gotta be like an office. That must be what this is. So, Huge, huge one bedroom, huge bathroom, okay? Good sized bathroom with your walkthrough to your huge bedroom. Does have a patio, which means we gotta paint that closet over there. And I'm seeing a lot of different floor plans at this property and they're not gonna get the one bedroom price today. I'm already not feeling friendly due to what's going on. I can't say that. They are gonna have to get charged a little bit extra for this because this one is pretty fucking massive for this one bedroom. But then again, we did that one bedroom vaulted. And if I gave them the one bedroom price for that, well, I gotta give them the one bedroom price for this. Oh my God, like what the, what the world is this? All right, let's get to it. Knock, knock. Holy moly. God damn. Is that a voodoo doll? Ho. Get away, Joe. Get away. 
Holy shit. Y'all turn this one bedroom into a little bit of something. Anybody in here? God, this unit fucking stinks. What is that? What is that? Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Um, damn, what a mess in this bitch. Shoo. So this unit is supposed to be getting trashed out. Oh, a tripod. Shit, I need that. Oh, it's a ring light. Shit. I'm taking that. Shit, that's coming with me, Jack. And that dirt devil. Need that. Any cleaning supplies up in here? I ain't taking that. Oh, shit, it's about to trip all over. Damn, that's a memory foam right there. All right, yeah, this unit is definitely supposed to get trashed out today. Uh, we're painting this tomorrow. So, damn, it's a decent little chair. I came in here just to see if it had been trashed out. Yeah, but more importantly, I need to look at this vanity. All right. Oh, that's... Well, this is not the one that's going to give me the idea on the vanity. I'm going to have to go look in the next unit. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Shit. All right. Well, this unit still got a long way to go. Damn, that's a nice little vacuum. All right. John. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right, it's 4.30 in the afternoon, and this unit is pretty much close to getting done. Trim's the only thing really left in minimal touch-up, but she is good. Walls look good. Trim's starting to get hit. It's looking good. It's looking good. There's only one coat on the trim. And, yeah, here's a good shot of it so yeah 438 and we're getting there yikes yikes ah. all right hey good morning 738 in the morning feeling like i'm getting a little bit of a late start this morning considering i got a lot of running around i gotta do but fuck it we're gonna try to make it happen so i didn't film much yesterday afternoon we were busy grinding on that little one bedroom color change which was actually kind of a big one bedroom color change and we busted that thing out pretty good hopefully this morning i'm gonna go look at it it's gonna be the way that it needs to be it's gonna look great i had donald stay and finish it up uh it was just trim was all that was left cleaning it up making sure everything's the way that it should be so like I said, hopefully everything's going to be good with that. I had Jason do a two-bedroom by himself over at Property 3. Uh, Milton did a two-bedroom by himself over at Property 2. Uh, Milton's probably already over there at Property 2, making sure everything's the way that it should be with that unit. And then he's going to be meeting me as well as everybody else is going to be meeting me over at Property 5. Property 5 is where the party's at today. We were supposed to be doing cabinets today. But the cabinets that we're doing are in the guest suite and they rent the guest suite out whenever they can because it's just additional money that the property can make. And they rented the guest suite out starting today, which is crazy because we were going to do the cabinets yesterday. Kind of glad that we didn't because if 
there would have been any additional work needed to be done today, well, we would be in super scramble mode trying to get that squared away first thing. So, short of it, cabinet jobs put off until the unit is vacant again. I would also hear from Property 11 yesterday, and fuck, I was supposed to send an invoice to them today. I need to make sure that I do that. Property 11 called me yesterday and told me, hey, you did an outstanding job on the last unit that y'all did over here. You did an outstanding job on the first unit that y'all did over, over here, and y'all are now our painters. So fucking fantastic with that. But they made mention like 10 times of hurrying up and invoicing them as soon as we were done with units, like hurry up to get the invoice in. And they mentioned, you know, invoicing so much that it made me question like, oh, I hope they pay on time. But then again, what does that even really mean or matter? Because none of these properties pay on time and it's just something that you got to deal with. Not accept, because you don't got to accept it, but certainly something you got to deal with if you are willing to accept it. All right, so what else? Um, property 11, we've locked that in. My wife went and spoke with like five new properties yesterday. So there's the potential that, she said like four of the five went really well. They were really receptive and hate their painters. <laughs> and, uh, you know. What are you gonna do? Um, maybe we get some additional work there. I need to hire some new people. I'll probably try to find somebody new over the weekend. So what else? I would hear from Property One. Property One would email me about re-invoicing because of repairs that we did in a unit that was caused by the carpet installation. So they want the carpet installer to pay this piss ass $100, uh, which, kind of annoys me because I'm like, damn, this is from an invoice that's almost a month old. Are you just now checking it? And now we've got to start this process all over by me revising the invoice. I certainly hope that's not the case, but it probably is. Anyways, aside from that, I'm feeling a little congested. My son is legit one month old today. Today is the 20th, a month ago at 1030 in the morning, my son was being born. Crazy to think. That little guy is a month old today. Um, so a special shout out to my beautiful baby boy. I'm out here working my ass off for my family and for him. And I hope when he's old enough to understand these videos, you know, he sees how hard I work and maybe that instills in him the same type of work ethic and drive. I certainly hope he doesn't ever have to work as hard as me. I wouldn't wish this on anybody this guy don't want to let me in but I just got in because that's what we got to do it's a 1v1 you got to merge all right so today two units on the schedule for today one of which there was a voodoo doll in that unit is this unit going to be cursed is that voodoo doll still going to be up in there they were supposed to trash out that unit yesterday hopefully they did that other unit they got a big old repair that needs to be done in that unit so we'll see i also put in the vanity proposal 750 dollars. that includes the price of the vanity the vanity is 199 dollars. that's also over at property five hopefully we'll be able to get that job as well that's all I got. That's everything in a nutshell right there. Um, hoping that today is a good day, but I already know I got a shitload of running around I'm going to have to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the storage unit. I got to go pick up whatever paint we've got for property five. Drop that off real quick and then shoot over to property three and property 10. Load out both of those units. and hope that everything's as it should be with both of those. Good morning to you guys. Hey, it's Friday. End of a busy work week for sure. And looking forward to a productive day and a good end to this busy week as well. So let's see where it's gonna take us. Over, under, how today's gonna go. Good, bad, 
odds are probably in better favor of them going bad, but it's not. Things have definitely been improving quite a bit with the business, and I'm happy to be able to report and share that. Now, mind you, I have been out there quite a bit more uh, engaged and also helping with these units. So that probably is every bit the reason why things are improving. Anywho, let's carry on and see where this Friday is going to take us. All right, over here, property five scrambling. Pretty sure this has been trashed out. Okay, that's the casing I gotta replace. That they fucked up, holy shit. Wow, that's gonna be fun to do there. I huh. think the carpet's staying. Thank God that voodoo doll's gone, right? Yikes, what a fucking mess this one is gonna be. All right, well, at least we can see it now. God, it fucking stinks in this unit. Yeah, it does. All right, I don't see any crazy repairs. Good deal. Oh, God, please, oh, please, oh, please. Hey, now. Hell yeah, wipe down the trash can. I didn't even mention that. Hit the door. Door looks good. Bottom of this casing looks good. Hell yeah, Donald. I'm happy with this. I'm real happy with this. There is some paint on the carpet right there. I'm gonna scrub that. Um, nothing major. Tub looks good. Bathroom looks good. Good job, Donald. Damn good job, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Touched up the ceilings look good. There was a spot in the kitchen. Look at all that shit I gotta take up out of here though. Alright, good deal. I'm happy with this. You know it looks nice. Everything's been touched. Good job, damn good job. Top of that needs to be wiped down, but no biggie. We did everything in here. Made sure that came out real good. I'm good with this. Good job, Donald. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All he had left to do really, well he had a fair amount of shit left to do, which was clean up. Um, now you'll notice there's paint on this vinyl, but they're replacing the vinyl. They're not replacing the carpet. Supposedly, they're fucking replacing this car, but there ain't no doubt about that. These fucking jackasses don't know a fucking... They don't know their ass from a hole in the ground at some of these places. Good deal, man. Left everything nice and neat for me. I fucks with it, Donald. Thank you very much. Let me just wipe this shit down, clean up this carpet real quick. Get that water scalding hot. Get that... Hit that real quick. Good deal. All right. So that's helpful. And I need helpful right now. Also got Jason getting ready to go pick up paint for me. And look, I'm telling you, I deal with two different paint companies, Sherman Williams and another. And this other, man, they annoy the shit out of me. Why? Well, sometimes I'll order paint and they'll give me the wrong paint. And if I don't check it before I get it, I could be leaving with the wrong paint like so that's a pain in the ass. That's happened twice, not just once, but twice. And now this morning, they won't even pick up the fucking phone. They're supposed to be open at seven o'clock in the morning. They won't even pick up the phone. If I can't get these guys on the line, they're gonna lose this business because I'm gonna take my talents to South Beach. I promise I will. I'll be getting that paint from Sherwin Williams. I'll get them to paint match it and we just won't even worry about it. No more. Not playing this game now. I'm not playing the game. Uh, now, I probably should have tried to get the paint yesterday. I just, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think I would have the problems that I'm having today trying to get it, but no big deal. I'm not going to complain about it, even though I am complaining about it. 
We'll get it figured out. Joe, you should have ordered it yesterday. It's your own damn fault. It's for your own damn good. Let's not paint that something else. And that's something else. I think I shouldn't do a paint. But that does. Yeah, it does. All right. Scrub it. Yeah. That's right. Scrub it. Oh. That doesn't look good. Right there. You hit it with that hold that that holding water. That scolding water, I mean. Alright. Let's make sure everything's good. Get this loaded out and figure out how the fuck I'm gonna get this paint. Alright, so I'm just getting up into the unit that I had Jason do yesterday. And let's check this sucker out. So carpet is going in this unit. cleaned off a little bit better but he did spray all the doors um jason does things his way and i'm okay with that so he came in and sprayed the doors i'm pretty sure he sprayed the bathrooms yeah i know he it looks like he brushed it i see brush marks in here kept it clean i like that painted the doors as i asked him to do i said make sure we're getting these exterior doors exterior doors and painted the closet, good deal. Yep. So Jason made $300 to paint this unit. And that's what I'm giving guys who are doing two bedroom units by themselves. They're getting 300 bucks. I make $400 to paint this unit, actually 425. I get an additional $25 for the storage rooms. We just started tacking those on. He didn't paint this door though. Um, so if I was going to grade this unit, missing that door right there brings this unit down to an A minus so far. Ooh, I see decent little amount of overspray right there. Nothing that I can't clean up. I won't even, I won't even charge them for that. Painted all the trim. It's easy to see that he painted it because there's paint right there. Painted everything. So A minus on this unit. Uh, now there's another major thing about this unit. I saw it yesterday when he was painting this. And I was like, oh shit, no, no. And it is a bit of a fuck up. So this is off white is the color here. And the trim is supposed to be off white as well. Uh, but he painted it semi-gloss white. Now, the, actually, the trim is supposed to be the same color as the kitchens and baths. Use the semi-gloss kitchens and baths for your doors and for your trim. But because he painted all of the trim doors, I mean, it looks good. And I doubt that they're going to have a damn thing to say about it. I've done this actually one time before myself. I painted a, a unit when we first started doing this with the wrong trim color. Um... I don't think they'll have anything to say about it. And if they do, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, just say, oh, we made that mistake. It was already too late. But I mean, shit, it's a, it's a color change on the trim that you got for free is what it is. So the unit looks good. I don't think anybody's gonna have any complaints about it. Get everything loaded out of here and get back over to property five. So a couple of things real quick. You'll notice I'm a little calmer. I'm seeing these units. I've already got property 10 loaded out. That unit looked great. Donald did a great job on that. I was freaking out about the paint. I finally got these nice guys on the phone. Got the paint order put in. Jason's going to go pick up the paint order. I'll pay for it over the phone. We'll do a phone sale. Um, haven't gotten a chance to talk with Donald yet. Milton was ready to go ride for me out to Sherwin-Williams because we was about to take the paint code to Sherwin-Williams and say, fuck these other guys. But they finally picked up the phone and it's the guy that I know there who's just kinda, I don't know, lazy maybe. Maybe he was busy, who the fuck knows, it doesn't matter. But again, Jason did a great job. He kept everything clean in here. So A minus on this unit. I am not tripping on this at all. This is a good job, man. A really good job. I got no qualms about this and I am grateful that he did the job that he did in here. Is it all overspray? Let's, 
Let's take a look at that. Because if it is, well, we're gonna need to make sure that we're addressing that and I may have to dock another half a point real quick. I've got a tripod for this phone somewhere and I don't know what the fuck I've done with it. Joe does stuff. Mops, flows. Let's uh, let's do a little, little experiment here. So where did I see it really good at? I saw it really good right over here leading in. Yeah, that looks like that could be all overspray. So now it could be previous overspray. I don't really know. So at property 10, they actually replaced the vinyl over there. Right. Yeah, that looks like that's years of paint. Years of paint, that's not on us. Actually, I can see stains in it, yeah. All right, you gotta check these units and have all of that documented, or you should, prior to this. So I ain't gonna dock them no extra point, just A minus on this unit, very happy. Also, I heard from Property 5, they want to go ahead with the vanity job. I've put the vanity price at $750. I'll share more on that job in a little bit. How we got to that price, what we're doing, and uh, all that good stuff. So let me load this out and get back over to Property 5 and get this day rocking and rolling. All right, here's one of Joe's jobs for today. Joe's jobs. Oh, shit, Joe does stuff, and it's Joe's jobs. I like that. All right, so we already know this is probably going to be. Let's go ahead and pop you out. Pop you out. And we need to go get a whole piece of case. All right, there we go. Bing bong. So that part's out. The fucked up thing is they busted the case. I hate when they do that shit. Why you gotta kick a door in? Why can't you just knock and wait for somebody to come answer the door? But what if they don't answer? So look, it looks like somebody's already done this repair once. Yeah, they did, boy, there it is. There's the repair right there. So we'll pop off this weather stripping and uh, do the same damn thing. Yeah, got some screws in it. Yeah, man. Our shit gonna look a little better than that. All right. Because we gotta go all the way down today. All right. Good deal. We'll get it done. these pencils a lot batteries are. right here. 
All right, here is the next Joe job right here. Yee. All right, we got to do us a nice little corner. Ain't really much pretty about that at all. How in the world? Whew. How in the world, boy? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of magic involved in this one. A lot of magic. This is when you got to be an artist with it. This one, you got to be an artist with it. Yes, indeed. Art. What it's about to be. All right. Repair is completed. So, paper the same. We did the corner. Inside corner. We papered across there. And ran it all the way down. Five minute mud on there. Be helpful. Hopefully help that dry a little bit faster than the bucket mud. All right. So here is some study material. This is a job that I'm getting ready to have to do in another unit. And boom, we're going to be replacing a vanity that looks exactly like this. The setup is exactly like this with the closet right there. Here are my blueprints. I've drawn them up right there. So, let me show y'all what we got here. What we got. Hey, John. Hey, don't mind me. I like to film because I've got no friends. <laughs> All right, so we've got roughly, actually, it's more than 35 inches. I probably could have got a 35-inch vanity in here, but I'd be concerned about the top actually fitting. Uh, all right, well... Maybe we do a 35 inch vanity, but right now the way I've got it is I've got a 30 inch vanity that's gonna go in here and you can see where that's gonna end right there. So our 30 inch vanity is gonna end somewhere about right here, right? So what they've got in here right now is actually a 30 inch vanity. Uh, they got a 33 inch vanity in here with this two inch, three inch filler. A little more than three inches actually so a 35 inch vanity should be able to fit in this area it might that might be something we consider but again the way that i got this is i got a 30 inch vanity that i'm going to get that's uh, that's 199 and it comes with the ceramic top now if i was to buy the 33 inch vanity just the bottom like we went and looked at it at home emporium 181 dollars for mica top 100 dollars because they don't got the 70 dollar pieces we need the backsplash, the two side backsplashes, and we need a ceramic bowl, which I didn't even price. A lot of extra shit. We don't need all of that. So we get the $200 vanity. That comes to right here, okay? And then we're gonna put a piece of filler up to here with a shelf top on it, right? And uh, it's gonna stop like right here. You got a nice little shelf here now. Okay, so you can put things here and whatever. Uh, it's the easier of the two. It's the easier of the two evils. Okay, and we're gonna paint it the wall color. We're gonna build it out of wood. All of that good jazz. It ain't going. So seven hundred fifty dollars to do this vanity install. Tear out the old vanity. Put the new vanity in. Other things to consider. Where will it come out on the bottom? Will the flooring match up? Well, we can always put quarter round underneath of it to hope that that works out. 
Uh, I got a feeling it's gonna be a real bitch getting one of these suckers out of here. This thing's been in here since God knows when, and it's gonna be just fun. Yeah, it is. But hopefully this is gonna go well. Definitely the wheelhouse. Uh, and that job has been approved. So, hey, that's gonna be coming soon. Leaving from Lowe's, you already know. Getting ready to be leaving from Lowe's. All right, $51 is what I just spent right there. Got to keep that receipt, got to bill that. So for the casing repair job on the door, that's $200. I know, it's expensive. Uh, <laughs> no, it's probably priced just right. Um, 200 bucks, man. $150 in labor, $50 in materials. That's what that job is. Not, not only did I get the casing, I also got the filler piece that I'll need to build the shelf when I do the vanity uh, repair. So there's that. Anyways, all right, let's go back and uh, make some cuts, put some casing together, rebuild a door frame. Yeah, let me know what you think about that price. So for that drywall repair that we did, that corner bead, or that inside corner, that's $150. And then for the door, that's $200. Should it be $150 though? $50 for material, $100 in labor. Anyways, let's get back and rebuild a door. This is what my guys are worth an hour right here. Nice, <laughs> nice thousand dollars. That's a tip for you right there. All right, bing bong, starting to put this fucker back together. Uh, look how far off that drywall is sticking, boy. That's a mean gap to fill with that piece of casing. But there's that piece, put back on there, cut this shit down, and then move on. Damn, my dumb ass. Uh, I fucking forgot to put the damn deadbolt latch in there. Oh, yeah. All right, level five. All day. All day. Yeah. Let me tell you something, no matter what, it's gonna be wavy because you got a big ass something right there and ain't shit you can do about that. One thing about it, hey, one thing about it, once that paint hit that shit, once that paint hit it, That's it. Look at that joint. It's only going to go. Tell you what, better than what the hell it was. And that's it. There's my deadbolt hole right there. Yeah. I don't think y'all never painted my trim again. Maybe you did, I don't know, I can't tell. Look at this, awesome job these guys did. Paint spray is probably hidden in a closet. That's usually what we do. Okay, not hidden in that one. 
Maybe it's hidden in this one. Oh shit. Damn, it stinks in there. Guess you hit it in. Ah, right there. Good deal. Covered it up. Awesome. All right, so anyways, here's my door. Huh, that looks like shit. And that looks even worse. All bubbling up like that. I don't like that. I don't know why that's doing that neither. Maybe that'll lay down once it dries. I mean, these guys are literally just getting up out of this unit. They're done. Anyway, there's the door casing, the deadbolt. It locks. Uh, damn, man. So today was kind of a, you know, dick around and, well, um, just really a dick around type of day for these guys. Uh, nobody had to really work too hard as far as they, my painters go. And they all made eight hours for the day. Um, I ain't got many complaints about this. I know that this didn't get painted, but no big deal there. Uh, it's really just a minute detail that you won't even really notice. You don't even really notice it. So... You'll see that this kind of looks all beat. I mean, this is the old shit. Like, this isn't even me. This is me. But, you know, whatever. I need to get a deadbolt. I mean, a deadbolt strike plate right there. I need that. But, anyways, there's the door casing put back together. $200 what I'm charging for that right there. And for that drywall repair that I did, uh, that is $150. So... Not 1,000% satisfied with this unit, but this unit is a shithole. Oh, my God. I hope I'm not seeing... No, it's not overspray. That's just humidity. That's what it, the issue is in this unit. It's humid. And, you know, shout out to Jason who painted this trim in here down on his knees, painting this shit in this disgusting fucking unit. I mean, this thing is really nasty. It, it smells as bad as it looks. It really does. But overall... Looks pretty good. No complaints, really. I mean, the complaints that I do have, they're minor and not even really needing to be complained about. These guys, they work hard and I'm grateful for that. So, oh shit, get this fucking tape with paint all over, ugh. All right, so let's talk about money today. Um, I only have three, uh, $750 worth of units to paint. And I paid my guys. They all made eight hours for the day. So that was, what's that? That's 160, 320, 640. 640 minus 750 is 61, 110. So I made 110 off of the units that we had for today. And then the repairs is where I made my money at. So 110 plus 150, that's 260. And then plus 200, that's 460. So I made 460 for the day. Hey, I ain't mad at that. I did pick up three additional drywall repair jobs over at Property 2. And uh, another, damn, that's a flask. Another repair job over here that, uh, yeah. I'll have to figure out for next week. Got a ceiling to paint in an occupied unit for next week. And that's it. I mean, we do have units to paint next week as well. So, yeah, I'm going to get this unit loaded up. I'm going to wrap it up for the day. Hey, that's it. Let me know how I did today. How, how did my repairs come out? I'm sure everybody's going to be uh, killing me on my repair work. But, you know, you got to work with what you got and make what you got work. And in a situation like, uh, you know, a place like this, I don't even want to say it like that. You got to work with what you got. And that's really what it is. Um, there's, you, you, there's nothing else you can do with this. I mean, tell me what else you can do besides take this whole fucking door casing out and replace that whole side. That's not what's, what's happening there. Ain't nobody got time for that. So 
I think it came out well. My drywall repair job is a little shaky. I, I will admit that. It is a little shaky in that inside seam. But let me tell you something. Uh, there is one little damn. There's one little thing that you can do to try to clean that up if need be. And literally, that is caulk the seam. It'll at least clean it up a little bit, but it's still going to be a wavy line. It's still going to be a fucking wavy line. And there ain't nothing you can do about that because that wall is just fucked. Yeah, it is. All right, anyways, I'm out of here. And I will look forward to sharing more with you guys. Damn, this overspray right there. What the fuck? Oh, come on, we gotta wipe that down. I look forward to sharing more with you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care.